Now I am going to discuss part two of the endometrial carcinoma. In the first part, we have seen that the most common factor which is responsible for endometrial carcinoma is unopposed estrogen stimulation. There are other factors like family history, parity, early menarche, late menopause, atypical endometrial hyperplasia, polycystic ovarian disease, and tamoxifen. Tamoxifen, as I discussed with you, is a drug which suppresses the estrogen receptors in the breast, whereas the estrogen receptors in the endometrium, they are exposed and they respond to estrogen. Then there is another syndrome which we call it as corpus cancer syndrome which is associated with diabetes, hypertension and, and obesity. The genetic factors which include mutation in PTN, KRAS, P1, 3K, they also play part in the development of the endometrial carcinoma. Then endometrial carcinoma, they are of two types, type 1 and type 2. Type 1 seen at the age of 55 to 65 years of age, whereas type 2 is seen at the age of 65 to 75 years of age. The ladies are obese in endometrial adenocarcinoma, whereas they are thin, lean in type 2 endometrial carcinoma. The predisposing factor in type 1 endometrial adenocarcinoma in case of uh, type 1 is endometrial hyperplasia, whereas the endometrium is atrophic in case of uh, type 2 endometrial carcinoma. Then uh, genetic mutation is P10 or P1, 3K in case of type 1 endometrial carcinoma, or uh, whereas it is P53 mutation in type 2 endometrial carcinoma. Type 1 endometrial carcinoma is comparatively less aggressive or as compared to type 2, whereas it has got, um, its behavior is more aggressive and it is more poorly differentiated as compared to that of the type 1 uh, endometrial adenocarcinoma. We call endometrial adenocarcinoma as endometroid carcinoma because the gland simulate that of uh, proliferative type of endometrium, whereas uh, there are uh, different uh, histological patterns which are observed in type 2 and they are very aggressive and that is uh, serous carcinoma or clear cell carcinoma. This was the just brief resume of the last uh, discussion or part one discussion of the uh, endometrial carcinoma. And now we shift further to the uh, important part. Differential diagnosis is very important in endometrial carcinoma. I have already told you that endometrioid carcinoma and well-differentiated endometrioid carcinoma and atypical endometrial hyperplasia at times it's very difficult to differentiate from each other on biopsy because in both cases the glands are lying back to back against each other. The branching of glands and the cribriform pattern is lacking and uh, there is a uh, lack of complex willow glandular pattern. So it's difficult to differentiate. Then in other condition in which, uh, which is uh, atypical polypoidal adenomyoma, in this condition, there is slight atypical cells with loss of polarity, but the glands are not lying back to back against each other. Moreover, they do not have ribriform pattern. The areas of squamous metaplasia may or may not be present and uh, moreover, the glands are present in the smooth muscle stroma and lack uh, desmoplasia. Then there is another condition which is uh, metastatic adenocarcinoma. Uh, metastasis they are seen from the nearby structures and in this condition they infiltrate the uterus from the serosal surface and rarely present in the uh, endometrium. But the most important thing in this condition is the history or the clinical findings or the supportive lab findings which are important. Now pathological staging of uh, both type 1 and type 2 endometrial carcinoma I've already discussed with you but uh, for your 
uh, for repetition i say that uh, stage 1 that uh, carcinoma of the endometrium is uh, confined to the corpus uteri stage 2 uh, the carcinoma involves the corpus uh, and the cervix stage 3 it uh, extends from the uterus but not extends from the true pelvis and then stage 4 it extends outside the true pelvis or involves the mucosa of the bladder or the uh, rectum now i'll mention modified figo surgical staging and grading system for uterine carcinoma or endometrial carcinoma stage 1 is when the tumor is confined to the uterine corpus stage 1a when tumor is limited to the endometrium stage 1b when invasion of is less than half of the myometrium stage 1c when more than half of the myometrium is infiltrated by the tumor of the endometrium stage 2 uterine cancer uh, uh, uterine cervix is involved stage 2a involvement of the endocervical glands only stage 2b uh, there is also involvement of the cervical stroma then stage 3 is pelvic extension stage 3a tumor ex- invasion of the serosa or adenexa or posterior or positive peritoneal cytology stage 3b that is vaginal metastasis stage 3c is metastasis to or metastasis to pelvic and paraortic lymph nodes stage 4 is extra pelvic extension then stage 4a tumor invasion of the bladder and of the bladder and the mucosa of the bowel wall and stage 4b is distant metastasis uh, including intra abdominal or inguinal lymph nodes for the treatment purpose it's quite important the work up of, of the endometrial carcinoma besides uh, routine investigations like that of the complete blood count Uh, liver function test and uh, pap smear but the role of ct scan and role of uh, mri is quite limited because it only depends when uh, the disease is extensive and or in the stage 2 or in stage 3 so that we can appreciate how how far the tumor has involved the other Uh, structures now the treatment of the endometrial uh, carcinoma whether in stage 1 stage 2 stage 3 and stage 4 uh, the first is uh, total abdominal hysterectomy with bilateral salpingo hysterectomy followed by removal of uh, uh, pelvic and periaortic uh, lymph nodes and uh, and then radiation and chemotherapy well in stage 1 uh, people avoid uh, giving uh, certain gynecologists they avoid giving radiation and chemotherapy now the regime which is uh, uh, followed in chemotherapy is tap that is tap which stands for taxol adriamycin and platinum i tried to cover most of the part of the endo Uh, mitchell carcinoma now i request my students to refer textbooks and uh, get more information thank you